Okay, here's a post from a student. No calls today, but put a new listing on the market and one more going live on Monday, both from Circle Prospecting. Thank you, Ricky Crew, for all you do for us. I mean, it's crazy, dude, how, how much business people are doing uh, following my program. Yeah. It's insane, dude. This person just said she got two listings off of Circle Prospecting, like what I'm teaching people to do. all the fears and worries you know like where's my next deal coming from what if the market crashes what if this buyer uses a different agent what if the seller doesn't pick me for to, 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 to list the property right yeah. when you eliminate all that and you know that none of that matters you're just happy so so I have zero fears I have a hundred percent confidence it doesn't matter what happens because you don't have anything to hide you're, you're here to help somebody. You know, you know the emails that you get? Uh -huh. Every single agent in my MLS gets those same emails. Wow. Every That's single amazing. one of them. Yeah. I haven't lost a single bit of business since I've been doing it. Everybody's like, oh my God, you're telling everybody all the secrets and stuff. And I'm like, all the secrets are already on YouTube. So you're up in you're up there with Wilcox? Yeah, I'm struggling. Okay, cool, yeah. cool, cool. Some of these plantings will move back and fill the space up, you know. So, and then, so you're saying like this? Chicken wrap. Right. Hey, no chicken wrap. Right right. Oh, you Stay in the office. Uh, it's New York Sunday, so I'm gonna absolutely crush it today. Got a guy uh, shadowing me for the first half of the day. Got lunch with a client, maybe. I gotta check with him. Gonna get a haircut and just going to follow up everything, crush everything, and make everything just pop. Tricks me and makes me think Patrick's here. No, I don't. She, she's, she's, she's like, she's like, you know, like that, you know. Yeah. yeah. Uh oh. These are my New here. York glasses. These are New, New York, York glasses. glasses. You ready to roll? Yeah. Oh, Your back's packed. Yeah. Where are they? In the car. Nope. Yeah. You're lying. Where would you want to land? Peanut butter inside. Outside. Cold and white, but it looks like ten thousand. Come on, come on. Hey, um, a small, blonde, hot, white chocolate mocha, low fat, no whip. A medium. A medium caramel frappuccino. Absolutely. Y'all got some bacon bites back there? Just one moment for me. You want a bacon bite? No. No, 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 And then like, uh, and then, <laughs> my phone is Hello? Hey, Regina. Hi, is, is this Ricky? Yeah. Uh -huh. Listen, the traffic was, is backed up. Was backed up. We're just turning off a canal. I, I did just trying to call you to let you know when we're running a few minutes late, but we should be there in about 10 minutes. Here we go. 
Greg. Hi, buddy. Hi. There you are. Yeah. See, I, see, I want, I want, uh, I want her to be making a hundred thousand a year. You know, within the next three to five years. Check this out. This is a, this is an email from an agent. I've been, Ricky, I've been thinking about signing up with Red X, but I've always felt a lot better talking to someone in person rather than over the phone. I know it can save time, but at the same time, getting to know the person face to face, I might have a stronger connection. With that being said, I looked at your YouTube video about the phone script. Would it be any different in person? How can I make it less awkward if they were to say no, they aren't planning on listing their property? This dude is missing the entire point. Okay, let me let me rip this dude to shreds and then I'll go up there. Hey man, period. Thanks for following along, period. For one thing, you're not gonna ask them if they want to list, period. You're gonna ask if there's anything you can do to help them. And if you really pay attention to my phone script video, comma, that's what you're looking for, period. You're looking for them to say they're not interested comma so that you can say I got you well look is there an agent in the area you would work with period I think you're missing the point there period as far as in person or over the phone comma I've always found that that's just a cop out for being scared to get on the phone period use the phone to set up the face to face period but yes, if you door knock, use the same exact script. Let me know how I can help you further, man. Period. I'll do anything to help you succeed. Christy B. Christy B. Uh, uh. It's like I'm playing video games when I'm working on my phone. It's like, uh, 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 uh. It's like I'm playing, I don't know what, what game is. I don't know. I haven't played video games in a long time. Gears of War. Yeah, whatever that is. Okay, here's a post from my student. No calls today, but put a new listing on the market and one more going live on Monday, both from Circle Prospecting. Thank you, Ricky Crew, for all you do for us. I mean, it's crazy, dude, how, how much business people are doing uh, following my program. Mm. It's insane, dude. This person just said she got two listings off of Circle Prospecting, like what I'm teaching people to do. This is insane, man. Like, I get like four emails a day from people saying, I just closed another deal using your scripts or whatever, you know? People are like, how do I stand out? How do I stand out? Like, you stand out because you did it for five years, you know what I mean? Guys, you're gonna see belt on here. So we're back on the truck, all right? All right, so I was just on the couch, you know, going through some emails and stuff that I was sharing with you guys. And I was talking about the agent that emailed me about talking face to face, like he's better face to face, which to me has always been a cop out to, I'm scared to make calls. Like, what's the difference? You know, you're still talking to people. It's like, you just need to make the calls so you can be more efficient so that you can like use the phone to get face to face, right? So. That's what I told him. So he just emailed me, emails me back and says, thank you for your help. So if they start wondering how I was able to get their phone number, what would I say? Holy smokes. So what I'm saying is guys, is that this is, this is literally the third time I got asked this question today. What do you say when somebody says, how do you get your, get, how did you get their phone number? And so I'm gonna say it on here for all the people watching what you say when somebody asks you how you got your phone got the phone number is is number one you don't get like stopped by those little road bumps you just smooth right over it and keep going right don't make it an issue if you make it an issue then it's an issue right so when they say how do you get how'd you get my number you say oh i found it online look i don't want to take too much of your time today but a house down the road just sold from you and i didn't know if there's anything i could do to help you right you just transition away from that weird, situ awkward situation into why you're actually calling and just finish the script. Let me get this on camera. You knew I was gonna get one if I came on the way back. Yeah, I know it. So, you got your bags packed? Yep. Tell the camera. They're packed, I'm ready. 
If you don't wear sunglasses inside. Yes, I do. We're going to Wendy Williams, man. We are. are. Yeah. Oh, Lord. All right, guys, here it is. It is 5.30. I'm still crushing. I just got a listing. I went and got it signed. Phoenix 10, uh, 1015 for 519.9. Really nice unit. I just did an Instagram story on it. If you want to check that out. And uh, But look, this is it. Headed to New York. Uh, last day in the office. Fixing to go up here and take a bunch of notes. Make sure all my loose ends are tied up. And everything is, is going to run smooth while I'm gone. I got Christy handling everything, holding it down. And uh, I'm just super excited, man, to get back in the Big Apple. I've been there twice. Um, I love it. So super excited to get up there and talk to Gary and the whole gang and see what's happening. And uh, take this whole social media thing to a whole nother level. And um, bring you guys more value than you can ever even imagine. So... I'll see you guys when I get back from New York.